Hello beautiful people. In this request slash how to video, we are going to look at the new improved Uncle Tom rockets. Hope you enjoy. There has been a lot of smaller and bigger changes to the game recently, including this line that showed up in a patch note from a couple of days ago. Uncle Tom rocket. Explosive weight has been corrected from 11.97 to 51.25 kilograms. I'm quite happy that this has been fixed. I could never understand why this large rocket only had 12 kilograms worth of TNT. And while I was sitting pondering if I should make a video about it or not, Rahul wrote this. Check out Uncle Tom rockets. Explosive mass has been increased to 51 kilograms. It's the best cast in the game at low tiers. Well, let's seal the deal, so let's do this. Only three aircraft in War Thunder are able to carry the Uncle Tom rocket. The Avenger Mark II, the Firebrand Mark IV, and the Mosquito Mark VI. And we are going to look at the Mosquito. Before we look at the Uncle Tom rockets, let's quickly look at the Mosquito itself and look at some pros and cons. Strong armament. You have four 20mm cannons with 600 rounds of ammo, and four 7.7mm machine guns with 2000 rounds of ammo total. You can also carry RP3 rockets, bombs, and of course the 4 Uncle Tom rockets. Fast. The Mosquito can reach speeds of 618 km an hour at a quite low altitude of only 3700 meters. So it's definitely not a high altitude performer. Wing speeds are quite high with 720 km an hour. Combat flaps rip at 390 km an hour. Takeoff flaps 346 km an hour, but the landing gear is quite low with only 264 km an hour. Armor protection. The crew is protected with armored seats, bulletproof glass, and a large armor plate just behind the armament, which means that your crew has good protection if you want to perform head-on attacks, which the Mosquito is good at with all the guns placed in the nose. And some of the cons. Underperforming flight characteristics. You are fast. But that's about it, as far as flight performance goes. Turn time is 28 seconds, which is quite a lot for a plane that in real life was lauded for its flight characteristics. And if you have 4 Uncle Tom rockets attached, you can add an additional 6 seconds to that turn rate. A lot of medium bombers have better turn rate than that. Rate of climb is also very bad with only 8.5 meters a second fully spaded. And again, you see some bombers with better rate of climb than that. Large minimum fuel. Part of why the Mosquito handles as mediocre as it does is that the minimum fuel load you must bring is 45 minutes and that brings a lot of extra weight to the plane. So playstyle wise either go for ARB and go bomber hunting or ground pounding. If you want to use it as a heavy fighter of course do not bring any suspended munitions and stay at altitude. It's pretty bad close to the ground and you will lose every turn fight. If you run into trouble at altitude, see if you can use your high diving speed to escape. And then ground IB, definitely go for the 4 Uncle Tom rockets. 4 sneaker attacks can potentially get you 4 tank kills, or even more if they are close together. Let's try looking at the Uncle Tom rocket stats and its closest competitor, the US Tiny Tim rocket. The Uncle Tom weighs about 50 kilograms less than the Tiny Tim rocket. The Tiny Tim rocket is a little faster, and the Warhead has 16 kilograms more of TNT in it compared to the Uncle Tom rocket. But the main draw point for the Uncle Tom rocket is that the Mosquito can carry four of them. As far as I know, no planes in War Thunder are able to carry more than two Tiny Tim rockets. The Uncle Tom rocket's firing sequence is as follows. First it uses the left wing, then the right wing, then left center, and lastly, you guessed it, right center. You guys are just so clever, you just get it. Let's try a look at aiming the rockets themselves. Because of how the rockets are located under the wings and under the fuselage, their point of aim are different. For the wing rockets, use the second horizontal line counting from the bottom. And aim a little further out than where the horizontal line ends, because of how far out on the wings the rockets are located. For the two center rockets, use the same horizontal line, but basically aim where the horizontal line and the vertical line meet. But of course we are talking about World War II rockets, 
so they're not super accurate. And sometimes a rocket will go astray. In real life, the Uncle Tom rocket was designed as an anti-ship rocket. And you can also use it as such in War Thunder. I tried this several times and the results were always the same. You need three Uncle Tom rockets in order to destroy a light cruiser. Alternatively, in ARB, you can kill about half a base at your own battle rating with your rocket's 200 kilograms of TNT content. I mentioned that these rockets sometimes can go astray. Try look how far away the impact was and still the overpressure damage managed to kill the crew. With the Mosquito, I always try to attack from as far away as I possibly can. And with the large warhead Uncle Tom has now, that's not an issue. I always try to stay at altitude to get some good overview, but in this particular match there was so much going on all the time, and often whenever I saw a mark, the tank was already dead, so I needed to be careful not to waste any rockets.
When the last two Uncle Tom rockets hit the ground, the pressure wave damaged one of our own planes and crit hit an enemy plane so much I ended up getting a kill. Time was running out, but I still managed to rearm and get back over the battlefield. That was it for this little introduction to the improved Uncle Tom rocket. If you like the content, remember to subscribe, like and comment. I have added some links in the video description, both for other relevant videos on the channel, but also for ways for you guys to support the channel in a more direct way if you wish to do so. Thank you for watching and until next time, remember to deploy your die breaks. Have a good one.